Hey guys, welcome back to the Super Castlevania 4 playthrough, and this time, we're gonna be heading into the clock tower with a familiar Castlevania tune. That's right. Bloody Tear. One of my favorite classic Castlevania tunes. Along with Vampire Killer Beginning, which also makes it appearance in the game. Now I have to say I do enjoy this remix of Bloody Tears here. Pretty well done in my opinion. So once again you may have noticed in the beginning that I did a small edit there to not waste on any time there. So throughout this place you want to watch out for boom pillars, those skeleton knights there, and of course a Medusa head. Can't have a clock tower without Medusa head, can you? And speaking about that, I have seen a clock tower video for Shadow, but doesn't seem there's a lot of Medusa heads around, but here's hoping that there will be in the final version of the game. And here they are, Medusa head. Watch out for the skeletons there. Alright. Not a thing the whole way. Watch out for those spikes there, just sit tight and pull. And carefully swing your way here, because of that skeleton knife can cause you to fall back. Alright. So this axe armor here, and... Whoa! Yeah, for this part you want to watch out for falling gear. Pretty cool. At this game. Way across here. Watch out for that Medusa head there. Now for this part, you want to climb, hang on your way carefully. Because there will be enemies that will knock you off. Like so. Land on here and take care of that axe armor if you can. There we go. Wait for the next book to write. Take care of that axe armor. Now here's something I kind of like to do is try to kill them from being on top of that gear there. I've done it once before. Although unfortunately I couldn't get it in this video. Now carefully take out that white dragon. Luckily I didn't got knocked back at the other side. That would have sucked. Alright. And I do believe one time I was playing there and I died by getting stuck in the wall one time. That was weird. But well, only counting it once. And make our way to the boss. That was a pretty short stage in my opinion. Wish it could have been a little bit longer. So we faced the mummy man. You do want to whip brandish most of his projectile attacks because there is a possibility that you can fall down the stage. So just be careful here. And play it safe.
if you can try to continue to use the cross on him. Which I should have done there. This battle would have ended quicker. Yeah, I think I started using that here and there. One more time should do it. There we go. Well guys, I'll see you in part 10.